Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. So I am heading to Byron Bay tomorrow for Splendor in the Grass, which is a huge music festival that we have in Australia. It's pretty much our biggest music festival that we have. We've got like Lord coming, Kendrick Lamar, Gang of Youths, God, who else is coming? I'm so excited for Amy Shark. Anyway, I know that I don't usually do that much sort of fashion content on my channel, but as you guys have been reacting so well to all of the sort of more lifestyle-y content that I've been creating lately, I thought that it might be fun to show you guys some of the outfits that I'm going to be taking to Splendor. Um, I have quite a lot of stuff piled up next to me on the floor here. I have some stuff from Shopo, I have some stuff from Princess Polly. There is some makeup I want to show you guys. I've got sunglasses, bags. There is also another outfit from Beginning Boutique that I haven't received yet. It's going to be waiting for me in Byron Bay, which I'm super excited for. Hey guys, so I have just arrived in Byron Bay and I thought I would show you guys what I got from Beginning Boutique because it is waiting for me on the bed. So first of all, I've got this little um, crop top. It has a zipper down the front bit risque. Then I have these little booty shorts, which I'm really hoping are going to fit me. And then to go on top, I've got this mesh um, see-through little dress, festival crystals, and some jewelry. Day three, sorted. And this will officially be the scent of Splendor 2018. So I've gone all out, I've ordered a whole heap of clothes and I thought I would share with you guys what I'm going to be wearing in advance. This is going to be a try on haul but if you would like to see what I look like wearing them at the festival, make sure that you're following me on Instagram because I'm going to be posting so much content on there. Like. I'm going to be spamming you guys on stories like it's going to happen. <laughs> I'm also going to be creating quite a few videos at the festival so make sure you are subscribed to my channel and let's get into the video. So I'm going to delve into the Shopo bag first. I have Shopo items that I wear literally all the time, so their clothes are really good quality and I wear them a lot. So the very first outfit I got from Shopo, if you follow them on Instagram and was like watching everything that happened at Coachella, you've probably seen this outfit before. Um, I got this gorgeous skirt. Skirts like this with the big slits down the front are just so, so flattering because it hides all of the right spots and shows all of the right spots. It makes your legs look super lean and you feel like Beyonce while you walk because they're like coming out and like it's trailing behind you in the wind. I love them so much. Anyway, this set is the Sound of Sunset two-piece set in multi-print. It is a size 12. I decided, I've learned from my mistakes previous years and I've decided to actually just order up a size this time because I'm always feeling so shit about myself because I don't fit into these clothes that I buy from online stores. I've come to the realization that it's time to just accept that they have quite small sizing. So yeah, I ordered a size 12 because I would much prefer to be wearing something that's a little bit too loose rather than something a little bit too tight. So this is actually a set. Ooh, I don't know how to like do this. It came with this top to go with it. It has like a sort of flowy situation and it goes across your shoulders. Only problem is I have um, really big boobs and this kind of doesn't have anything to go under it and my, yeah, it's just not gonna happen. So I think I'm actually gonna wear this top. So this is it on. It's really, really cute, but because I've got a thing called boobies, what are you supposed to wear underneath that? I don't know, I really like the skirt though, so I'll probably just wear it without the top. <laughs> for the second outfit from Shopo, I decided to go for like a bit of like a double denim vibe. I think I'm going to wear this on the last day because when you're at a festival, you kind of just like slowly deteriorate as the days go on, the more you drink and the more you like live your life and dance. Um, yeah, it's just, you kind of are just really lazy by day three. So I got these light wash denim um, shorts from Shopo. I was actually really nervous ordering these shorts from Shopo because like a lot of them are quite like tight little booty shorts, um, but these ones are absolutely perfect. Um, they're just the right amount of modesty. I think these ones show just the right amount of butt, and the best thing is that you can actually roll them up or down depending how much you want to show. I am usually a size 10 or a small in my clothes, but I ordered these in a size 12 because I was a little bit nervous about them being booty shorts, and they actually fit me so perfectly, so I'm really, really happy about that. So to match those shorts, I got a denim jacket. It's in the exact same um, shade of denim. It's just super light. I actually have one of these in black that I got for Splendor last year from Shopo, and I still wear it so often. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably see I wear it all the time. Um, I love oversized denim jackets. They're so, so comfy, and they're really, really warm. It is actually winter in Australia, so I'm going to be freezing my tits off. Um, so I needed to have a few things that were going to be a little bit warmer. So this is good because I can wear it um, over my shoulders at nighttime, but then wrap it around my waist during the day. So I'm very happy about that. 
And then to go with that denim outfit, I got this little bandeau style top, which is super, super cute. I'm not wearing a strapless bra underneath this, so this is what it looks like, um, what it would look like if I was wearing a strapless bra. Um, but I'm not really sure if I'm a fan or not because I just, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's not really going to be showing that much. I think I'm going to be having the jacket on most of the time, but I really like it. Finally, the last thing from Showpro was this coat. It is so fluffy. I love it. I want to wear it every single day. I wore this to the Mamma Mia premiere last night and I love it so much. It's so soft. I just want to like sleep on it. It's super, super warm, super, super comfy. This is so crazy cozy. I love it so much. Um, this is actually another outfit option I'm thinking so like maybe these denim shorts with this black top you can also wear these like this which I think look really cute I love this jacket so much this one is an Australian size 10 and it fits me perfectly um, I'm usually a size 10 so it's pretty much true to size um, and I really like it oh my god this is tiny that is so small like I have one outfit and a whole heap of accessories from Princess Polly. This one I am super excited to wear. I think I'm going to wear it on the first day of the festival. It's like a super lacy see-through dress. It's very, very short. I'm definitely going to be wearing something underneath it. I feel like I look like a nun. When I actually first saw this online, it looked so good on the model, but she was wearing this really sheer, like, bodysuit underneath so she was practically naked underneath and if that's your thing and you have a really nice butt and a really nice body and it works really well for you that's great but for me um, I decided I needed to cover up a little bit more the whole vibe for me with my outfits for this festival is yes I want to show some skin um, but I want to be comfortable doing it I don't want to show too much skin or I don't want to show anything that makes me feel like I'm not confident in myself so I'm still being a little bit like oh hey look at my body but at the same time I'm like I'm hiding the places that I want to hide <laughs> instead of going the bodysuit option like they had on the website I got this little dress here it's just a really simple little shift dress um, that I think will look really cute underneath it I also did get some booty shorts from Beginning Boutique which I don't have here today but I know they're gonna be waiting for me in Melbourne so they're little like black shorts so I feel like maybe the black shorts with this top that I'm wearing right now could actually look quite cute underneath that outfit anyway so We'll see. I'm not quite sure, but we will see. I might switch it up. For accessories, I have three pairs of sunglasses that I have to take with me. All three are from Key Australia, but two were sent to me directly from Key and one I ordered from Princess Polly. So I'm so excited for this. So these are the ones that I am most excited about. I got these from Princess Polly and they are so cute. They're so festival-y. I love them so much. <laughs> So these ones are from Key Australia and they're called the Heartbreaker. I love them. I love them so much. Then I got sent these ones from Key recently and I know these style of sunglasses are super, super in at the moment, like the little tiny ones, but a part of me kind of feels like a grandma when I wear them. I feel like they look really cute, but you've got to wear them like low because if you wear them up here, you actually look like a crazy person. I am Steph. And then the third pair of sunnies I'm going to be taking with me are these blue ones also by Key. Um, I also, I just don't know how I feel about these. I think they're really cool. I just don't know if they suit me, but I'm going to attempt to rock it. I'm not sure what day I would wear these though, but I think they're cool. All of these like outfits and sunnies are like so beyond my comfort zone. I'm just kind of like going with it. And then also from Princess Polly, I got a bag. This one is super cute. It's just simple and black. It's got a long strap on the side, which can be changed in length, which for a festival I think is perfect. I was thinking about getting one that goes around my waist, but I just thought it wasn't really practical for all of my outfits, but something like this is quite standard. And I think the tassel adds a really cute flair to it, but the tassel is also able to be clipped off, which I really like. I just think it's super cute and it's the perfect size. You can fit a brush in this, your phone, um, all of your makeup, like you can fit so much stuff in this, so perfect. And that is from the brand Peter and Jane. Finally, then finally for accessories, I got a hat and a belt. I'm not sure what day I'm going to wear this hat, but I will be wearing it one of the days. Um, this is from the brand Brixton. It is a size medium. I had no idea that hats could have sizes. Like when they asked me what size I wanted, I was like, I have an average sized head. Anyway, it turns out I have a small head because this is a little tiny bit too big for me. But it still fits perfectly fine and I think it's super cute. These hats are just so in at the moment for festivals, so I'm really excited to be rocking that. And, I, and then finally from Princess Polly, I got a belt as well. This is just like a simple sort of um, chainy belt. I've actually worn this a few times already. It is just like a, a waist belt and it will probably be worn with all of my outfits to be honest throughout the few days. 
all of the shoes at the moment that are in for festivals are heels and like that's super impractical when you're walking through a field because Splendor in the Grass is in like the parklands of Byron Bay so it's literally just like fields and mud and like grass. So I wanted to get something trendy but at the same time would be practical. Now you may be looking at these and thinking, Steph, that is not practical, that's so high. But hear me out. These boots are from Rock and I think they're so cute. Um, I'm not really the type of person to wear like army style boots, but these are kind of like a cuter version, I think, of the traditional rock boots. What I thought made these okay is the platform is actually so high that when you're wearing them, you only feel like you're wearing a heel of about that high, which I think is actually no different to like wearing like a small heeled boot anyway. So um, hopefully these will be okay. I'm actually going to a couple of parties while I'm at Splendor. I'm going to the Nena Judy party, which is gonna be so much fun. It was amazing last year and also a party with Patron so I'm thinking I'm gonna make sure I wear these on one of the days that I'm going to a party and I'm not gonna be at the festival the whole time because they'll be more practical there and I'm sure there'll be more like level ground when I'm there and they were from Princess Polly then finally I was totally freaking out about shoes I didn't want to take any that were too expensive because they're totally gonna get ruined so literally a day ago I went on to the iconic the iconic are amazing when you want last-minute things because they deliver on the same day or the next day no matter what and I looked at all their boots and all their sneakers and I said from cheapest to most expensive and I picked a few from the cheap end because there's no point spending lots of money on shoes you're just gonna ruin anyway so I think this is so cool I got these boots from the brand Spur but I think they're really, really cool. They've got a little tiny heel. I got these, I think there was like 40% off or something like that. So they were only about $30, which <gasps> bargain, right? And they just have these little like silver details all over them. I think that they look a little bit more expensive than they are. So I'm happy with that. They are a suede, which is gonna get absolutely destroyed at the festival, but you know what? $30, I'm willing to accept that they're gonna get destroyed. That's okay. <laughs> And then finally, I got a pair of sneakers from Ruby Shoes, also from the Iconic. Um, I know you guys are probably looking at me like, what the hell are you doing, Steph? You just got white shoes and you're going to be in the mud. But do you know what? I kind of like getting white shoes dirty at a festival. Like it kind of... I think getting white sneakers dirty gives them character, so I'm totally okay with that. They're just super simple. They look a bit like cons, but they're not because they were only $20. And yeah, I'm willing to ruin some $20 shoes, so yeah. Well, finally, the last thing that I wanted to haul is I have a whole heap of stuff in this bag from Rimmel because I'm actually going to Splendor in the Grass with Rimmel, which is so exciting. Um, and so I'm going to be wearing a lot of their products while I'm there. Rimmel actually have a whole heap of festival products, so this is absolutely perfect. Um, I'm super excited for these. These are the Rimmel Ink Me Metallic Sticker Tattoos and they can just go anywhere on your body and I'm going to literally put them everywhere on me. I'm not sure what day I'm going to wear them yet, but I'm going to wear them on one day. I'm excited to put things like down my arm and stuff. I have two eyeshadow palettes. I did specifically ask to be stocked up on my Rimmel Wake Me Up anti-fatigue foundation. This is honestly one of my favorite foundations. I used to wear this when I was in high school and it's still one of my favorites. It gives you a super natural and glowy skin look and it also has like vitamin C and SPF of 20, which at a festival, that's perfect because you're gonna need sun protection. I'm not really gonna be wearing a hat most days and I'm gonna be out in the sun. I could float around this fact, but I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be drinking a lot while I'm at this festival. So my skin is gonna get super dehydrated and I'm gonna be super dehydrated and by day three, I'm gonna be needing some brightening. So I think a glowy foundation is perfect for that. Um, and I also really, really love their um, Wake Me Up concealers. They are really great for brightening under the eyes. So I got some more of that as well. And the Ink Me range from Rimmel as well also has like all of these really cool gold um, liners. So I'm actually hoping to create a little bit of body art with these pens. One thing that is not in this bag is they have the Rimmel stamps. So like the little hearts and the little stars that you can stamp onto your skin. Um, I haven't got any, but I'm going to find some somewhere and I'm going to cover myself in stars somehow. So I'm going to find them and I'm going to pop them all over my face on one of the days. I'm super excited for that. So yeah, that will be happening as well. Really, I really hope you guys enjoyed this festival haul. If you want to see more hauls and stuff from me, let me know um, because I kind of do enjoy doing videos like this. I just never do. I've just never really been confident enough and the Lazy Gal Diaries has really sort of opened my eyes a lot more um, on the sort of content that I can create and what you guys would be open to seeing me create. So if you want to see more um, fashion related videos and things like this, do let me know and I will see what I can do. Um, yeah, I have just created a massive mess now and I have to pack. 
I leave tomorrow morning and I still haven't even considered packing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy it to let me know because I like to know if you're liking what I'm doing and if you're not and maybe just like don't say anything because it would probably hurt my feelings. If you guys are heading to Splendor, I will catch you there. If you are not heading to Splendor, then I will catch you later. <laughs> See ya.